Hey everybody, uh, Chief Meteorologist Brad Petovich here. Thought I'd do a late night vlog here. It's about 11.40 p.m. Uh, wanted to show you a quick update because I did do a new snowfall map tonight. New, I should say, it's actually the first one we've done um, now that we're in you know, less than three days of the event. So let's talk about what's happening here. Here's our storm system. You can see it developing over the northern plains. It's going to dive to the south very quickly, and that's where things get interesting. Tomorrow, we're going to see if this thing's going to start to crank up to our west over the middle Mississippi River Valley, and over time, eventually it's going to move towards the Carolinas. There it is heading our way. So let me show you future cast. We'll show you how things unfold. Here comes the storm system. We should see snow in the middle of the country tomorrow and we should see this thing starting to organize and probably have a pretty good idea on the track because we're going to see where the low forms. Now the low tracking inland like it is, is bringing some warm air with it in the mid-levels. This is the problem. We've got tons of cold air at the surface. For once, we're not worried about cold air at the surface. The problem is because the low is so far inland, it's pulling this what we call warm nose which is warm air up around five, six, seven thousand 7,000 feet in the atmosphere in from the Atlantic. So it's tightening up so much that the counterclockwise spin is pulling in just as warm air, um, as much warm air as it is cold air on the backside. Remember, this is a big influence of warm air while on the backside, there's a big influence of, of cold air. But this high pressure to the north is keeping a shallow layer of cold air near the surface, which means we get that icy mix. And in a lot of the soundings looking at this setup, looks primarily like a lot of sleet. Um, and I, as much as I hate sleet because it's bad for the roads, it is way better for power lines to have sleet. The roads would be impassable in many locations, but at least we wouldn't lose power. Now, so we could see a scenario where we go from snow to sleet to freezing rain and maybe back to snow at the tail end as this thing moves away from us. There is a snow band that could develop on the backside, which would be pretty interesting to see unfold. So here's a look. I do see a, a lot of mix across the Piedmont. Solidly snow in the mountains and foothills. That's why there's huge totals up there. The only caveat for them is whether we get some dry air in the mid-levels that shuts everything off. But really what you need to focus on is this, really, the huge impacts we're going to see for our, this storm. It's going to cause widespread travel disruption and significant uh, power outages, possibly, where we see the ice set up. But most people get really excited for the snow. But the problem is because we have so much mixing going on that really reduces the amount of snow because for every hour you're getting sleet or freezing rain or a mix you're kind of reducing the totals of snow so you see the averages here we're anywhere from as low as a trace to one inch to as high as two to four that's kind of the, the threshold we're in with the highest chance being around one to two but outside chance it could go a little bit higher especially uh, towards that four inch uh, total if we see it stay snow primarily. So the snow meter for the Charlotte area has increased. It is now up to a solid five, not because it's a ton of snow, but because that's where you need to buy bread and milk and it shuts down Charlotte because the impacts from the storm are gonna be somewhat significant because of the roads. That's, that's my concern. So let's go hour by hour. We'll break this down. Friday, no issues. Really Saturday, no issues. Um, as we get into Saturday night, watch what happens some snow tries to move in saturday but that's all high level moisture saturday night after midnight so think about 12 a.m to 1 a.m here comes the moisture now look at the surface temperatures they're in the low to mid 30s they start cooling off they're getting colder and colder okay so the surface is cool but the mid levels are warming up so above our heads it's getting warmer changing things to sleet or freezing whoops sleet to freezing rain so you see most of sunday morning into the afternoon that's a lot of pink. That means it's sleet, freezing rain, or snow mix. And I think this is going to primarily be sleet. Again, it lasts most of the morning hours. The peak of this looks to be the middle of the day on Sunday. Even look at the rain try to sneak in here at the end. And then it may switch back to snow on the backside Sunday night. So think of this. You could have a little bit of everything on top of everything. And that's going to cause widespread mixing and cause widespread issues on the roads because we could have snow then some sleet some freezing rain then snow back on that that's going to make like a glacier so here's my thinking right now and again the caveat here this is as of 11 p.m thursday night i think a solid 6 to 12 in the mountains that could go higher 4 to 6 across the foothills 2 to 4 the northwest piedmont including maybe north charlotte 1 to 2 for charlotte south and then a trace to one inch and again that could primarily be sleet. Sleet can accumulate several inches if it sleets hard enough, long enough. And that's a good possibility with this system. But the, the worrisome part about this whole system is the ice potential. If we get this kind of ice on top of that one to two or two to four, that's going to cause serious issues, not only in the roads, but for the power lines. So significant outages 
could be possible across the area. So when you look at the impacts, I think you really need to focus on these um, primarily. I'll move my head up here a little bit higher, but you can see um, in the mountains, foothills, down into the I-40 corridor, high impact from snow, four to 12 inches there. Snow and ice covered roads, big issue. Power outages, probably minimal because not as much ice up there. Now, as you go south, this includes areas south of 40 down into the Charlotte area. Less snow, one to four inches of snow and sleet, but snow and ice packed roads because everything's gonna stick. Um, and you could get freezing rain to help glue it all together and keep it uh, on everything. And if we get that freezing rain, then the outages become a huge concern for us as well. So that's kind of my rough thinking right now. I am gonna do a more detailed vlog tomorrow morning where we'll get into some of the newer data coming in. Um, but right now the real concern is not a ton of snow for the Charlotte area, but there will be some, one to three, four inches, somewhere in there, but it's the sleet and ice that is really big concern. You wanna be rooting for more snow or sleet. Not that the sleet is great for the roads, but boy, if that ice verifies, we could have some significant power outage issues. So you need to prepare for not being able to go anywhere because of bad travel, but also potentially being without power in areas that are vulnerable to power outages. Have a great night. I will have an update tomorrow morning.